M0 FXB Ham Tech, welcome back to my videos on the SI14732 mini receiver. I've just flashed this one with firmware version 2.28. I will link in the video with all the all the links that you need to do it yourself. Now this version has Wi-Fi, but it also has memory channels, and we're going to show you the memory channel. Just look here, there's Wi-Fi there. Also, see the tuner. We're able to tune as you can see. And we've got RDS. Like so, but if we press and go to setting, so we press it, we go to set, and we go to UI layout up and down. Press it again, and look, we can go S meter. Let that come back, time out, or we'll just press it. And now we've got an S meter. And you've got signal and noise. Someone messaged me saying it doesn't work, but it, it completely does work. So I'm not sure what they meant. So anyway, as for Wi-Fi, the way you turn that on is you press it, settings, go up and down. You see Wi-Fi, press and just go down to AP only, press that and the red one turns on. It gives you an IP address 10.1.1.1. And uh, you can just type that into your browser, and that's where you add the proper internet so you can upload the EI the EIBI database, which is all the names of channels that are are not on the RDS system, so shortwave type channels. But anyway, this video is about memories, uh, so we're going to go down until we see the word memory, okay? And press, and it's just added a memory. Now, if you look at the top, there's a number. Look, see that number one. Two, three, and as we go for it says it numbers them. So it's showing at the moment. Let's go, let's just press it so it selects that. Then we'll choose a different band. So we're going to select, go to band. You should notice that there's bandwidth there as well, and mode. So we're going to go band. Uh, let's go to 11 meters. Why not? And we've got AM there. I'm not seeing that you can get FM on this. Now we'll press again. And this time we'll go down to memory, press, choose where we want it to go. So we'll put it on number three and press. Okay. So now when you're in the memory window, it just selects it. And that's your memory. So to collect to, to you know to select memories that you've stored, you just go back to memory. So let's do another one. So we have to select the one to come out, press it again, change band, like so, let's go to 40 meter band, that's a 25 meter band, okay, then we can press again if you want to change the mode, and you've got upper side band, lower side band, let's do upper side band for now, just for tests, press, so now you press again, go to memory, press, go down to a blank one, and add and there you are so let's see if we can uh, overwrite a an existing one there's a memory 01 um, so we'll come out and we'll choose a different thing so we'll go to band CB and we'll press it go to memory and see if it lets us overwrite uh, so now we we need to learn how to delete a memory so to delete the memory, you press, go to memory. Now normally to press to add, you will just go to the empty slot and it allows you to say add, doesn't it? Now to delete it, you just press a bit longer. So go to the one you don't want. And I've done quite a few practices there. And just press a bit longer and it changes to the word add. You've effectively deleted it. So to look at the memory channels using the web interface, remember you have to go menu. Go down to settings, like so, press, and you're looking for Wi-Fi. There it is there, Wi-Fi, then press, and then go to AP only, okay? 10.1.1 or admin.local. So then, before you type in the 10.1.1, you need to find it in your Wi-Fi. So just here where it says Wi-Fi, click, and then Go like so, search and look, ATS Mini. Now you will lose the internet when you do this initially. 
ATS Mini Connect. And at this point, we're going to type into a new browser 10.1.1. Oh, my typing is rubbish. There it is there. And you'll get this page appear that looks like this, which I think is really cool anyway. So remember, this isn't a new model. This is the earliest model. I bought this black one here when they first came out. So your one will do this. So we're now communicating using Windows or any browser. So that means your phone, your Mac, doesn't matter what you're on, it's going to work. So then um, you've got your memory config here and it's already remembering um, you know what we've got now i can't see that i can actually change these at the moment using this page if i delete i'm not seeing that i can make any changes here okay but at least i can see them i can see the mode as well if we go to config here we get this page okay and we can choose our country which is london london plus one you can choose the color i'll leave it as default i mean that is the best one zoomed menu it shows that, that i've made that selection so you can create a um, username and password if you want i'm just going to add in my ssa id here and once i've added my ssid yeah i'm just going to save it and you'll see that at the bottom here you've got the save you might have to reboot it but then when it comes back on it's going to show a different ip address on the actual device and that's going to be, you know, similar to the IP addresses you're used to seeing when you're tinkering at home. And then you will be able to log into this interface here and at the same time just use use the Internet. So let's get my I'm just going to put in my username and password here. No different than your broadband at home uh, and then uh, and click save. Just did it. You can see the device. I'm going to click save. Now I found that one time I did this. It didn't reboot, so I just rebooted the device myself. I'm going to be patient and wait, but you can see that on the device, you'll see that it's green here. Okay, green right there. And uh, so we're just going to reboot it. I'll give it a minute, and if it doesn't come back, I'll reboot it, and we'll see the new IP address. Well, just to say, when you're not connected, the, the Wi-Fi is going to show red. But red does mean that it's sending out its credentials. It's sending out those words, ATS Mini. Okay, so what I had to do, because it has connected now, I had to press the menu, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi. And then I had to go to actually connect. Okay, connect. As soon as I did that, it, re, it, re, it changed the new IP address to 192.168.0.109. Uh, Let's do it again just so you can see that settings. I know it's a bit fast. Connects and then it also says you can try admin.local. Mm, I will try that. But anyway, it's using that IP address, uh, which is working just fine. And then I'm going to put in admin.local just to see what it does. New window, admin.local. Enter. If it finds it, I'm not seeing that. Did I type it? Type type it. Admin. I didn't type it. I'm rushing. Admin. Dot l o c a l. Okay. Mm, not really seeing it. My internet wise. Let's make sure I'm connected to my normal internet. See if that does it. Refresh. I'm not seeing the admin.local works. Let's try the 10. Just tinkering now. Dot one dot one dot one. Enter. No. But my IP address that I actually want it to use is working. And that's the main thing. I'm going to go back to the memories. Oh, let's even show the IP address here. Look, username. Mac address and all that kind of stuff. Firmware config. Uh, memories. And there you go. I'm just not sure why you can't change the memories. In the in the instruction map, it says 32 slots. Favorite, click add. Uh, on an empty one, click and hold. 
It does say it's also possible to edit the memory slots via serial port or via the web-based tool, which is what we've got. And we're in we're in Google Chrome. Uh, squelch bandwidth etc. So yeah, I'm not sure why I can't change those memory selections. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. All the best.